So here's a, another mechanism um, for the cardioid. I'm going to use um, um, this mechanism here on the, the top of the left hand page. Um, So for this mechanism, we have a couple, uh, a couple of cranks, uh, C, D, and A, B, but with sliders around so that the length of A, B is indeterminate, the length of B, D is indeterminate. The only thing that has a length is C, D, and that length is the same as C, A. Let me pick them properly, there's C, A. And that length would be A. And so these two things have the same width, but the the sliders, etc. Well, this link is constrained to be a right angle, and there's a sort of a double right angled slider there at B, which um, leaves the length of those two lines indeterminate, but their angle to be right. And so now, if we uh, create an angle, um, the crank B A. Um, we can um, watch how that behaves as we as we move B around. Uh, we can create the um, the curve and the locus of B, and we can take a look at the equation. There we have it. The equation of cardioid.